Hi guys, it's Anne here again and welcome to another episode of Very Unusual. So in this video, I'll be talking about this Jeans Vitamin E. It's from uh, Panko Limited, so it's a company from California. And as you may know, vitamin E is very important for our skin, for our face, because it locks in moisture, giving our skin the softer texture at the same time, making it looking younger and minimizing the appearance of fine lines at the same time, uh, wrinkles. <laughs> so vitamin E has a lot of healing properties too that could heal and prevent signs of aging. That's why it's really a good inclusion to our skincare routine. Actually, for this one, others told me that it's just for the skin. It's like a lotion, but I've seen some reviews on Amazon that they've used it on their face and it's like, it served as their moisturizer at night and they have impressive reviews for this one that's why i decided to give it a try plus at the same time the price is really reasonable for just 11 dollars you get this huge tub so i thought though if it didn't work for my face at least i could use it on my skin and yeah in many ways all right so anyway let's start with the texture i'll just show it to you closely the texture looks like this this spatula didn't come with this uh tub uh, yeah i just got it from somewhere anyway let me just show you the texture closely so it has a thick texture really so if you look at here it says here uh, for dry skin sensitive skin so with the texture i can tell that it's really for dry skin because this kind of texture a thicker one is really good for those who have dry skin as it will be properly penetrated given this texture that it's kind of thick it means too that when you apply it on your skin let me just show you okay it won't be absorbed fast look at that it will take time really yeah <laughs> it will take time to really absorb on your skin on your face but i thought if you have an oily to combination skin then maybe this one will go a long way because you only need a little of it so as to moisturize your skin but given this um absorption this kind of absorption it means it would really work for those who have dry skin because when you have dry skin you uh, you have somehow dry patches too and you know flakiness on some parts of your face so then this will work well right so well anyway getting back to this product when buying vitamin e i'm sure you've noticed this one it says i use right so it only means international units so most vitamin e supplements or skincare they're still labeled in international units so for this uh one or based from what i've read uh one international unit is actually equivalent to 0 0.67 milligrams of natural vitamin e so given that this has 200,000 IUs, it means it has almost 3,000 milligrams of vitamin E. I'm not just so sure if it's all natural because it's not mentioned here. Anyway, for the ingredients, you could check the link down below. I have this uh, website where I check the ingredients there and then maybe you could just uh, type this product and see for yourself if those ingredients would suit your skin, your face. All right now it doesn't just have vitamin e but it claims to be with biologically compatible amounts of vitamin a and d so they say that vitamin a and d when mixed with vitamin e then that's magical <laughs> i mean that works wonder so i guess that's why that's another good claim for this one all right so of course it's also for sensitive skin that's why i decided to get it because i'm such a sensitive skin for my skin type i used to have oily to combination skin oily part would be my t-zone but i thought as i age and of course with the weather and of course with my skincare routine the products that i've been using lately 
I thought my skin has changed to normal skin. All right, so I still get oily sometimes on my T-zone depending on the products that I applied or depending on the weather. So now that summer is kicking in once again, so I guess I have an oilier skin once again on my T-zone. Well, anyway, it's good for those who have sensitive skin, yeah? But for those who have acne-prone skin, you might want just to, again, search for the ingredients using the website that I will be linking down below. All right, so now for my review about this product, I thought the price is re reasonable, just like what I mentioned a while ago. That's a lot of product. It goes a long way, so it's very moisturizing. The mere fact that it's really good for those who have dry skin, it's really moisturizing. Sometimes I even use it on my skin, but since it's kind of heavy, I don't think it's a proper fit for my skin. Since I've been using the Cetaphil moisturizer for my skin, it's lighter, so I prefer it that way. Especially when it's summer, I don't think it's a good idea to use it on your skin because it's really thick and yeah, <laughs> it's just so heavy. I use it on my face though, but for some reason it broke me out. But of course, what works for one won't work for everyone, right? So it didn't for me. It's because it caused me to break out. As, um, if you watched my video about purging and breaking out, so I've, I'll put the link down below too so you'd see the difference. Anyway, I knew right away that it's breaking out and of course, since it's a moisturizer, it will sink in on my face overnight because I've been using it at night. That's why I thought uh, I broke out because of it. Uh, that's one of the cons. At the same time, I can't use it in the morning too because it's too heavy and I thought it made my skin really oily towards the end of the day. So I guess it might be for those who have sensitive skin, but yeah, it's just really for those who have dry skin. All right, plus of course it doesn't have a spatula in it, so if they could have added one because it's such a huge tub, so that's really not hygienic. All right, but basically it's a good product. It just didn't really work for me, guys. Overall, I'll give this one 5 out of 10. Once again, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it some love, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to smash that bell button. And of course, follow me too on Instagram at Very Unusual. And yeah, <laughs> I'll see you again next week. Happy weekend. Thank you.